Foraging for berries. Grandfather, I want to go on a quest. Oh, good. I've been eating some milk from the village. Thank you, Mel. No, like a quest outside of the village. No, I can't allow it. I can't just live in Sleepy Sad my whole life. Please, I have to go on a quest. No, Mel. I cannot let you go. It is too dangerous. Why? Mel. There are forces in this world. Good and evil. And the evil far outweighs the good. I can't let you risk going out there. But I can be a force for good. You really want this, don't you? Yes. Wait here. This was your father's sword. The sword of Gibson. Now I am going to quest. No, no, no. It's for self-defense only. On a quest? Yes. No! No quest. I mean it, Mel. I love you. Just because you want to be a hermit in the woods doesn't mean I want to. The poor boy doesn't even know what he wants. Good luck to him. business do you have in the town of Sleepy Sad? I could ask you the same thing. What are you doing scaring an old dwarf like that? You didn't answer my question. What is your business here? Well, I think it's pretty obvious. You're just here for a measly sword? No measly sword. That right there, my friend, is the Sword of Ages. Forged by my kin a thousand years ago to this day. It is only capable of being held by those with the purest hearts. That, of course, is why I'm here. To wield it. Huh? You, my friend, are a hero of legend. Will you join me on my quest? I don't know. I should probably ask my grandfather first. Nonsense. I'm sure your grandfather will understand, if you're saving the world. Come with me, I'll explain more. Allow me to tell you the tale of the Great Divide, which led to the fall of the Kingdom of Onifant, which of course was the Kingdom of Dwarves. This is a story about a young dwarf named Thalabor. This isn't the Sword of Ages. They took it. Thirty years ago, Onifant was divided into two camps. One was the Old Guard, who enslaved humans for profit, and the other was the Coalition of Freedom, who sought to defeat the Old Guard and free the humans. Thalabor was recruited into the Coalition of Freedom by a man named Dar Targan. Hey! Dar Targan's my grandfather's name. Well, it's a pretty common name, I guess. In the Coalition, Thalabor met another dwarf named Diblador, and the two became fast friends. The Coalition was headed by a man named Couchgon, who himself was a former slave. 
He also seemed to be trained in wizardry. He led a successful front against the old god, and we drove them out of Anfit. But Kalchagan was paranoid. His hatred for dwarves ran deep, and he never intended to stop once the old god was gone. Remind me again who it was who enslaved us? Dwarves! And are we gonna give them a chance to do it again? No way, no how! I say we take them down before they even have the chance! Aye! To my knowledge, all of the humans and the Coalition followed his command, except for Dartari. It was a massacre, greatly outnumbered. Thalabor and Dibblador tried to flee to the Elven Brook. Come, Dibblador! Elven Brook isn't far. We can make it. Not the both of us. You go on, I'll hold them back. Ah! Dibblador, I will not leave you! Enough! Go! Thank you, Dimplador. Not a me! Thalabar made it to the Elven Brook, but he never saw his friend Dibblador again. After Calchagon's victory, he established the Kingdom of Malkin, which he rules with an iron fist. For decades, he and his adopted son, Balthazar, have been amassing an army of Malconians to launch an assault on the entire world. Are the Malconians humans? They are humans that work for Kalchagon. The rest of the humans are savages that roam the plains. Gotcha. Dartargan was one such human who fled to the plains with his son after the rise of Malkin. That was the last I ever heard of him. Thalabor took refuge in the Elven Brook for 20 long years before deciding to take matters into his own hands. He knew the Sword of Ages was the only weapon that could kill Kalchagon, and hoped that he would be able to wield it. He couldn't, but thankfully a young man came along who could. Now Thalabor must travel with this man to the Elven Brook, and request aid from King Prolin in his crusade against Malkin. I'm Thalabor, by the way. No. To the Elven Brook. You know, I've never been this far outside of the village before. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty. But it's pretty dangerous, too. I can handle anything. <laughs> Goblins. You're coming with us if you don't want to die. All right, all right. I, I heard you. I heard you. it. This one, he's different. That goblin got some kicks. Nice sword you got there. Give it to me. This here's the Sword of Ages. No thanks. Fine then. We will do ritual combat! He who wins keeps the sword. Hey, Bubla. Bubla Bubbles? Fatne Tabla. Magaraba Kuraba. Hey, Bubla. Mega Bubla. Rumbubla. Gobanga. Gobanga! No black, no black. Snow black, take a black. No black, take a black cat. Cat. Shrok, you need to know. So no, 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 no. Kapa estoma. Hey, Prolin. Komala ke kwa kimaka te kwamata. Ome emeremampe. Balagdar Sensei of Padama. 
Fujise Kusama da Taspa Echolata Pipo de Sama Galbrid Para Sana Mala etu Mara Captaniana Patstamulamus Hersramus Ramus Lord Kalchaga, the reduction of trinkets has gone smoothly. The elves have fallen for the bait. They love those things. Spectacular. Now nothing can stop our plans, par for, of course, the Sword of Ages. But no one is pure of heart enough to retrieve that item. I know I'm not. I'm quite the bad dude. But what if someone were to retrieve the Sword of Ages? Oh, spare me the hibble squibble. I can't bear to think of it. <sighs> Lest, if it were so, we need a mercenary. Balthazar, go off and find me the strongest warrior in the land. I'll be here. I won't let you down, Kalchi Ganya. Kalchi, like I'm five years old. <laughs> Five times one hundred. You got this, boss. You're gonna win. Go get him. All right, enough. This is gonna be a breeze. That's not how ritual combat works. No weapons. Only fists. Fine. Hold this. Whoa. Uh, I'll be down here, I guess. No shirts either. When an elephant. <laughs> This guy has like a 2% chance of winning. Yeah, if you were milk, you'd be 2%. <laughs> <laughs> Dinner time. Ah! Holy dwarf. That was just a sample. This human's got some balls! Yeah, but only two. Here's your prize. You should, uh, probably come get it. No one's bested me in 31 years. I'm 31, by the way. Well, 31 and a half. My, my birthday's in December. I wish you to be there. My, my, my party's at five. What need have you with the Sword of Ages anyhow? It's the human tribes. They, they keep ambushing my village over and over again, constantly. I, I, I can't do anything about it. Humans? Yes, the human tribes have been at war with the goblins for a long, long time. Well, there's a threat even more dangerous than the humans lurking. The Malconians. If there's a threat against my people, I'll be sure to fight it. Then join us, dummy! Yeah. <laughs> just, just get a shirt on, alright? Itching, man. You think you should take it off, right? Well, um, actually, not such a good idea. Someone may be able to follow us. Are you worried yeah. too much? Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Woo! All right, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> Wandering travelers. Hey, Goblin King, 
You got a name besides Goblin King? I mean, it's just like Goblin King. You know, it's a <laughs> mouthful. Well, uh, my friends call me Jababo Schwarzenegger, which is my real name. I think I'll just call you Jababo. <laughs> I feel like we are getting any closer to the Elven Brook. Trust me, we're headed the right way. I think. Going somewhere, gentlemen? Where do you hail from? Speak now. The Elven Brook. And, uh, where is that? Under there. Under where? <laughs> Under where? <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. It's not like you wear any. <laughs> Alright, buddy, we're sick of your little witticisms. Now tell us where you're from. Oh, and now the representative of the unwashed masses wants to ridicule me. Actually, <laughs> you're not even unwashed. It's like you're trying to be filthy. Okay, I've had enough. This isn't getting us any closer to defeating the Dark Lord Calchicon. Let's go. Calchigon? Wait up! Wait! You guys are defeating the Dark Lord Calchigon? Uh, duh. I will take you to the Elven Brook, and I will help you defeat the Dark Lord Calchigon. On one condition, you must behave yourselves at the Elven Brook, and you, you must bathe. Well, what are you waiting for? Ah! <laughs> hey, Cerelius, what's human in Elvish? Well, a human is stinkiest mananess. Oh, oh, that's a good one. What's dwarf and elvish? Ugly bearded mananess. <laughs> Why, you little? Little? My friend, I don't think we want to be having this debate. <laughs> hey, well, um, what's goblin and elvish? Huh? Freaky scrawny manatus. <sighs> Figures. Well, what's elf in elvish? Charming, handsome manatus. <laughs> what happened here? I did. And who are you? My parents warned me not to let the rage consume me, but I didn't listen. <laughs> Gonna cry. <laughs> I went full draconic mode, and I decimated the hut on which you now stand. <laughs> Draconic mode? This guy's a dragon. Fear not, I'm only half-dragon. Darren the half-dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, there's nothing funny about it. I have to keep my sexiness hidden at all times. <laughs> Thanks for the laugh, man, but we really need to go defeat the Dark Lord Couchagon. <laughs> the Dark Lord. If I help them, I can earn honor, and my family will let me live with them again. You're welcome to join us if you'd like. We could use a good laugh. Just turn down the edges just a little bit. Welcome to the team, Darren. Wandering travelers, why so uptight? Does something ail you deep in sight? Hey old man, we're not here for a nursery rhyme. Excuse me, I can't help it from time to time. Who are you and what's with the disguise? You don't know me, I'm Wickham the Wise. But I can't help but notice that you carry the sword. We're all on a quest, quest to fight the, the Dark Lord. Lord! The Dark Lord. You don't mean... Calchagon. You know him? Back in the day we called him Calchi. 
I mean, he is pretty grouchy. <laughs> Silence. The rhyme is over. Now I must tell my tale. It began once I came upon an escaped slave from Onifant. Take my hand, young one. What's your name? Well, in Onifant they called me Calchi. Calchi it is. I decided to teach Calchi the powers of metaphysical manipulation. I always found it a good way to channel and balance my energies, but he was impatient. Young Calchi, no one ever got anywhere by rushing. That, that's not, that's not even true. Eventually, Calchi learned to cast basic spells, and I decided he was ready to advance. Well, Calchi, I have taught you well. You're becoming quite the wizard. And I decided to give you this, your very own staff. This staff will help you to harness your powers of metaphysical manipulation. He got right to work on personalizing his staff. He whittled away at it for days. I thought the imagery was a bit odd, but young people do some weird things sometimes, so I wasn't overly concerned. Around this time, Couchy and I started taking an interest in dwarven affairs. Allying ourselves with like-minded dwarves, he and I joined the Coalition of Freedom. Couchy's cunning mind allowed him to quickly rise through the ranks and become an influential speaker in the party. I later found out that Couchy had never let go of his resentment towards the dwarves. Perhaps I always knew, but fool that I was, I thought I would be able to help him overcome it. Then, on one fateful day... I must be on my way now, Couchy. I have a speech to give at the Council of Druids. I'll be back on the morrow. Oh, do take your time, Wickham the Wise. Farewell. Well, Couchy, the meeting went well. Couchy? Oh no, this is exactly what I feared. By the time I had arrived in Onifant, the damage had already been done. And if anyone was going to put an end to Kelchi's terror, it had to be me. You have to stop this, Kelchi. This is not what the Coalition of Freedom was made for. This is not what I trained you for. First of all, it's Calchagon. And second of all, this is exactly what I was training for. Calchagon, if that's what you want me to call you, come back to the light. Don't forget where you came from. I came from hell. Then I'm sorry, but I have to do this. Pitiful little creature. I won't even kill you. I'd rather have you suffer through my reign. Galchagon. If I do live through this, I swear to never use magic again. It was then that he attempted to claim the Sword of Ages for himself. You have served me well. Goodbye. rage, he put a hex on the sword, cursing anyone pure enough to draw it for himself. He sounds like a bad dude. In a way, I am responsible for the rise of Calchagon in the kingdom of Malkin. You were only responsible for teaching him magic. He's the one who chose to use it for evil. Hey, you're good in my book. Why don't you join us? No! I have sworn off magic since the day he turned. I can't help you fight, but I can give you advice. You may wound with that blade, but do nothing worse, for it is afflicted with a life-draining curse. So if I kill someone with this sword, then I'll die? 
That is all I can say. Please, be wise. Alright. This is the Elven Brook. I can only sneak two of you up, so choose amongst yourselves. I'll go. I have the sword, so I might have some leverage over him. Me too. He needs to answer for his apathy towards my people. Crowling the Elf King! We need to talk. How dare you sneak up on me at this time? How dare us? How dare you for not assisting the goblins in the plains for decades? Relax, you bubble. Cooler heads prevail. How dare a filthy goblin and an even filthier human come and insult me? Listen, we don't have time to debate the semantics. The Dark Lord Calchagon is dangerous, and we need to stop him now. Calchagon and the Malconians are our allies, and even if they weren't, they wouldn't be powerful enough to stop us. Look, if you want to go fight the Dark Lords yourself, you can, but the Elves will have no part in it. What about Cerulius? He's with us! Cerulius is a criminal, and I exiled him for that. Criminal? Now be gone from my sight! But good luck if you really want my stamp of approval. Figures. Cerulius! Beverly! Blog do blah 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 Googly goo ga ba Walk na ba No blah Ti boi da Uh, Cerulius, uh Why do you carry that Oh, I mean, yeah. well, for self-defense, clearly. If we're on a quest, it could be dangerous. Criminal. Hey, Cerulius, are you a criminal and that's why you were exiled? Because if that's the case, we don't, we don't really want you on the team. Oh, um, no. I, I was just against trinkets, and so I was exiled. Ah, no worries. Patratus Alfatus Seaboro. Tiaris Embargo de Dada. Ui, u a a. Ting Tang Walla Walla Bang Bang! We're Kautzka. The crow brought something in this morning. Ah, I just love crows. They're like pigeons, but evil. I believe it's a letter from your son. Ah, splendid. Now get out of my sight. Sorry, sir. Dear Kaushagan, the hunt is going well. No mercenaries yet, though. Signed, Balthazar, the demon prince. Hey, Darren. You're, uh, you're half dragon, right? Yep. So your, uh, your mom's, uh... Human. So, your dad must be, a uh, Human. And the mailman was, uh... Dragon. <laughs> that is it. You guys claim to be my friends, but you've done nothing but make fun of me the entire time I've been here. I can't control it anymore. I dare you for draconic mood. Run! Katapate tafatatas in tapalus bananas. No bole crone.
мала лабула сима. Hold on. I hear something. Blue dart. Human savages, take cover. A little help here! On it! You took quite the tumble! It appears your friend has fallen in combat. It appears so. Giblador! Oliver! I thought you were dead. I thought you were dead. It appears you have axial dysfunction. I can help with that. Wonderful! Why don't you follow me back to my grotto? Chibaba! Oh, oh, have some fall. <laughs> We're going to Dibladur's grotto. Who? Where? Wait, hold on, where's Aurelius at? Uh, I'll explain later. You know, it's been quite a while since I've had a warm glass of milk. Yes, us dwarves are known for our good milk. So you guys must have some good cows, huh? What do you think I have these nipples on my chest plate for? All, All dwarves, dwarves produce milk, milk you know. <laughs> Hello there. It pains me to see that your friends cannot appreciate your sexy talents. More and more, I feel as if my friends don't trust me. And I have to keep my sexiness buried deep inside me. They don't trust you. They see your potential and know you'll be more powerful than they'll ever be. You must follow me and I will take you to the Dark Lord, Kauchagon. Kauchagon? He's like a bad dude. That's what they want you to think. He's the only one that can help you hone your sexy talents. I do need help with my sexy talents. Here, come with me. And before we enter, make sure his name is the Dark Lord Couchagon. Make sure you don't mention his nickname at all. Couchy. Balthazar the Demon Prince. Why do you bring me this man? He exudes sex appeal. My lord, this is... No. My lord, this is Darren, the half-dragon. He can be a human or a dragon. Wahoo! Oh, he gives new meaning to the term sexy beast. Thank you for bringing him, Balthazar. I will now clue him in on the production of our trinkets. Ooh, does that mean he gets to join our team, Couchy? Couchy was my slave name in the Great Divide. <laughs> One more soul for my conscience to bear. Okay, buddy. How would you kill Balthazar? He was your son. Uh, I'm like a bad dude. Now what use are you to me, really? What if I knew who wields the Sword of Ages? So, uh, what do you have in mind for the axe? A strip of iron. Nice. Here, drink up.
Here you go. Ah, what is new? Strip of iron. Works every time. You know that savage said my name. You don't think that could have been my... It's best not to think about it. Huh? You know, I always thought that I'd be the one to wield the Sword of Ages. I should be happy for you. You're my friend after all. But... I can't help but feel that I've lost a place in history. Well, you couldn't wield the sword, and yet you still came on this quest with me, and that's about as heroic as anyone can get. Here, have some. Thanks. <laughs> hey, this isn't dwarves milk, is it? No. You sure? I can assure you, it's definitely not dwarf's milk. It's dwarf's milk. <laughs> Mel, Thorlabor, quit fooling around. We're gonna make a toast to Cerulius. One for you. One for you. One for you. Thanks. And one for me. Cerulius. He sacrificed himself for me. And I'm sure he's up there. To Cerulius! Cerulius! Well, where's my milk, man? Well done, my minions. You have done splendid work on forming these trinkets. <laughs> and Darren. My sexy prodigy. When your former friends get here, you will put them in their place. Bye, See ya. Where's Jababa? Ah, oh, he's urinating right now. He drank a lot of dwarf milk. Fallen hero, you fought brave in your last hour. And for that, I must transfer you the last of my life's power. <laughs> I have given you a second chance at life. Now go! Fulfill your destiny! This is it, boys. Calchagon's castle. Hmm. Smaller than I expected. Let's go! No. Go on. Fight Calchagon. It's your destiny. Yeah, go on ahead. We got this! Hey! Ah! Mercy. Well, that was 
easier than I thought. Uh, yeah, I could have set up better myself. I guess we did it. <sighs> Darren! Buddy. Uh, Darren, it's us. Remember? Hello? Come on, man. Wake up. What are you Go doing? The goblin. You don't remember any of that? No one remembers me. I remember. Hmm? Uh, I don't think Darren wants to be friends anymore. Darren? Why are they fighting Darren? He was a good guy just a minute ago. Mel, I've heard so much about you. Well, as much as you can hear about a worthless, nameless human from the tribes. Calchagon, the source of an evil so tempting so as to compel our friend Darren towards it. And lest I forget Cerulius, whose chivalrous life ended in a quest to impede you. In my eyes, you murdered my two good friends. Directly? Nay. But still, not another soul will face the agony of losing a brother to your wicked wiles. For I am Mel, son of Gibson, and your reign of evil ends with me. We shall see. In rage mode. I've never seen one before. Should have got popcorn. Dragon scales are gonna protect you from that. <laughs> Never should join with Calchagon, Darren. Yeah, that was a pretty bad choice. You know what, Kai? You're right. I'm sorry. I should have never did that. I see the error in my ways now. Mm, should probably still go to jail, though. No, no, I learned a valuable lesson. Thank you. <laughs> should probably still go to jail. Well, Darren, I forgive you. <laughs> You're welcome to join us. <laughs> what do you mean? What? My magic's supposed to be indeflectable! You fool! If you kill me with this sword, you'll die too! I guess that's just how it is, Calci. Cerulius, I thought you stopped living. No, after you left me for dead, I was revived. You prick. <laughs> after we defeated Calchagon, everything pretty much worked itself out. Cerulius became the king of the Elven Brook, taking over since the death of King Prolin. He married Princess Everly. I'm not sure if he had to do that to become king or because he actually liked her though. Maybe I'll ask him someday. An Skinnajad. An Tanaka Un Blautanaken. Skun Aflan Quenaga Un Glaba. Congrats on being the, the king and all. Thank you. Doblar Ketun, Freaky Scrawny Manatus, Abla Charming Handsome Manatus. 
forever hablante. I have no idea what you just said, but if it was nice and peaceful, then... Well, I think my family might actually accept me again, so, uh, see you guys. Best of luck yeah, to man. you, Darren. Ignore our feelings, dude. <laughs> Goodbye, Darren. Ah, <laughs> oh, the king has returned. We laid out the flowers for your arrival. Yeah, I see you. Did a good job. How many human tribe attacks have occurred since I left? Zero, my lord. Mm. Excellent. All thanks to me. Mel, Tharlabor, you two are always welcome in my kingdom. Anytime you want to stop by, please feel free. The king needs his nap now, so I will have to escort you out. Oh! 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 <laughs> ah, those two crack me up. So I guess... This is the end of the quest, huh? Well, we came across each other. Who knows how many dwarves are still out there? Well, I hope you guys find a thousand dwarves. Best of luck to you guys. I'll never forget you, Mel. Everyone else went back to where they came from, and it was time that I did too. Back to Sleepy Sad. Mel! Oh, oh, oh. You look different. I shaved. Hi. <laughs> Grandfather, I just went on this great, big, and huge adventure. Uh -huh. I gotta tell you all about it, but first, I should probably get rid of this. No one can ever use this again. Well, I'd sure love to hear all about your quest. Maybe I could join you on your next one. Yeah, <laughs> no sword, no quest, you know. <laughs> Well, it's funny you should say that. I found a little something where the Sword of Ages used to be. I heard it's called the Sword of Mel, son of Gibson. Hey! Hurry up! Ha ha ha! 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 Ha 